Yeah, it looks right. Okay, cool. So everything is as it should be as far as I can tell. Hi everyone, welcome back to the stream. So, Morrowind time. Again, yes, we'll keep keep uh, adventuring further into the realms of Morrowind. So, when last we played, we were doing... what? We were... We started working for House Telvani is what we were doing. And me figures will continue that work. We'll continue the life path, wizard life. And uh, we'll see what's up. So, let me just make sure everything over here is as it should be. There we go. And let's get back in. All right, so we're back in the Tilvani Council Chamber. Uh, we are basically in a position now to be advanced to the rank of mouth, which means we can join these lovely fellows here, uh, representing a master of the order. But we need a patron before we can do so. And before we start looking for a patron, let's make sure we get all the like busy work out of the way. So let's do all the jobs they have to give us, and then when we become a mouth, we can look into maybe doing some work for their respective masters. Um, yeah, and then maybe later today, we'll look at uh, traveling east. Maybe. It's it's in the realm of possibility. Alright, so what were we doing? Uh, we should bring five portions of muck. That's right, yep, busy work. Alright, so this was this lady right here. What else to go muck gathering? Yay. But again, I mean, it's not necessarily any more demeaning than getting slowed soap. Because, yeah. It's just how we go. I mean, let's see if our if our favorite, uh, favorite alchemist here has something uh, she can do about our lack of muck. Please, go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. Do you have muck? You have muck. Okay, cool. So it was five portions, right? Yeah, cool. That was cheap and easy. Okay. Well, let's go back and hand those over because this is dignified work. Yes, indeed. We are truly the mightiest of wizards doing busy work for the council. In fairness, we're actually not that good of a wizard, but we have some decent equipment, so, you know, it all comes together. <clears throat> yeah, we have five portions of muck. Uh, good. Here, take these hundred drakes for your trouble. I already have enough grave dust and lichen to finish these potions of cure disease. Uh, it would be so much easier if everyone could cure themselves. You can do that, can't you? What? Well, yes, of course. Uh, I guess, no, can you teach me? Let's see if the spell she, she teaches us is any, is any better than the ones we have. Oh, very well. Raven instructs you in the, in the spell. There. Now, if you do not wish for more chores, go about your business. Let's see what that spell was. I guess it's probably just cure common disease. When did we learn the Dwemer and Imunculi spell? I forget. But we can now summon a Centurion Sphere for some reason. Okay, that's really cool. I don't remember when we got that. Maybe we got that from... Um, from picking up uh, the uh, uh, the schematics we we uh, we were down uh, delving for earlier. All right, let's just see if you have more chores for us. Uh, Mistress Trotha wants a ring known as the Black Jinx. I have seen the Black Jinx. Uh, I play Pokemon. Yep. Mistress Trotha always uh, has always had an interest in this ring. She believes the ring is now somewhere in Sadrith Mora. Acquire the ring and deliver it to me. Okay, it's somewhere in Sadrath Mora. Well, that's vague. Let's go looking for it. Hi, do you know anything about the Black Jinx? No? Okay. Someone in Sadrath Mora must have heard of it. Okay, well, we'll just go ask everyone on the planet. Hello, do you know anything about that? I have heard of it. I believe the ring belongs to the Morak Tong. Oh, good. <laughs> Delightful. Eventually, we'll probably go do some work for those guys. If you are brave, perhaps you could ask them. They have a guild hall in the northeast side of town. 
I bet you if we were um, if we were a high ranking member of the Morak Tongue, uh, this guy would just hand it over. Whoever we are about to to talk to about this ring, will just be like, "Yep, here you go." But since we're not yet a member of the Morak Tongue, it's probably not going to go that well. So the northeast side of town. Well, that's about here, right? Morak Tongue Guild. Okay, cool. I'm willing to share my insights for the right pride. Hello, Dunsalipal Dunahe. Have you known about the Black Jinx? I've heard of it. I believe the ring belongs to the Morak Tongue. Yes, good for you, but... Okay, is there anyone else here? Hi there. Do you know about the Black Jinx? Suppose I had this... Suppose I did have this ring. This Black Jinx. Would you take what is not rightfully yours? Uh, come on, dude. Um, maybe if we flex our social stats a bit. Hi, can I admire you? Yeah, that's nice to hear. I know it is, right? Yeah, I honor you. I know. I'm such a charmer. Would you give me the black jinx? Hmm, there we go. Yeah, we just needed to butter him up a bit. Okay, cool. If Drother needs this ring so badly, I do not understand why she does not seek it herself. Hiding behind mere servants like you isn't... Hey! Fuck you, dude! Fuck you! Okay, well, hiding behind mere servants as you is a sign of cowardice. Yes, I admit it, I have the ring. If you want it, you can fight me for it. Okay. Uh, well, duel right here, right now. Okay, to the death, even. I did not realize we were playing high stakes. Okay, cool. So, we have... Well, I guess, um, if you want a duel to the death... Where is it? I shall name my champion. Ta! Yeah, what you gonna do now? That's right, you're gonna die. That's what you're gonna do. Goodbye, Alvin, whatever your face is. I name my champion Fire! <laughs> Good job. I am sad that I don't have a soul gem. I can actually... No, this is a lesser one. I can't actually trap you in this. Oh well. In the future then, as thank you for your service, you shall be trapped in a soul gem. But for now, let's just take the Black Jinx. It absorbs luck. That's... 10 to 50 points, I almost don't want to give her this. And burdens untouch. Okay, well. This could be a good item for crafting. Uh, it could also be a mediocre item for crafting since it's pretty swingy. But it'll be fine. Okay, so that's all she wrote. Let's just steal these. Um, uh, well, we, yeah, let's, let's not then. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's petty stuff. We don't actually need it. So, um, I mean, yeah, you can just come with, I guess. So, as of last time, as you might remember, we, uh, we got this awesome cephalopod helm that we can't actually see. This is one, this Gothran cephalopod helm. Uh, which allows us to, for two minutes, uh, bi cast Bind Helm on ourselves, which is this wonderful thing right here, uh, with an armor rating of 75. Jeez. Um, and fortify light armor, fortify medium armor, fortify heavy armor, and fortify unarmored on self. So, that's good. Uh, but it doesn't look as cool, of course. It's not as cool as the Cephalopod Helm. Uh, but we also summon this beauty right here, a Dromora for two whole minutes. Now, this one has a, what, a Dwarven Axe? Yeah. They come equipped with, like, random gear, so it's like, they will always have full, uh, full Dromora armor, uh, except the helmet, uh, and then they will have, um, and then they will have, like, a weapon of choice. This could be anything from, like, a Dwarven War Axe to a Daedric Dai Katana, whatever, right? It's, they'll just, we just call up this badass every time we need him, and, uh, 
he'll fight our battles for us because we can't be bothered. <laughs> I mean, I've so um, little story here. Um, when I initially started role playing, uh, I started playing Dungeons and Dragons way back in the day, like over a decade ago, and my favorite class was always Wizard. I've always been a big Wizard fan. Yeah, have the black jinx. <coughs> Yes, you will appreciate this ring, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I will teach you if you wish. Yes, teach me spell. It teaches me to demoralize my enemy. Okay, so uh, I started playing a wizard, and as you, you may or may not know in, in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, wizards have, like, uh, wizards use magic, right? And there are different schools of magic, and one of the schools of magic is the school of magic known as conjuration, which is the art of summoning things, and, uh, like, you know, calling in creatures from other planes and binding them in circles and so on and so forth. And I was always all about that. I've always been, like, a summoning person at heart when it comes to role-playing. So using these, like, items like this that allows me to just, like, call up someone to fight my battles for me is totally up my alley. So, yes, all about this. No other choice for me. We can talk to the other mouths or speak to Mistress Strather. So we've been running the gamut here. Now we just need to talk to Felisa, you listen. And then we're done and we can seek advancement as mouth. Something just popped here. Let me make sure it doesn't do that again. All right, there we go. So let's talk about chores. So you work for Mistress Therena. Okay, Mistress Therena has requested that someone deliver the new clothes to her. I will pay a thousand drakes to anyone willing to deliver her new clothes. Okay, tell me about the new clothes. Take this skirt and deliver it to Mr. Thre Mistress Therena. She lives in Telpanora and can be eccentric at times. I take these AMCV intervention scrolls. Don't hesitate to use them if she becomes difficult. What the hell? Excuse me for a second. Uh, I was sure I have set my Skype to shut the fuck up, but apparently I haven't. Alright. It appears I need to fix this in a more roundabout fashion. Five seconds. Let's shut this down. Alright, so that should be that. I have no clue why it obstinately did not... Um, shift back into to quiet mode when I clicked it the first time. So I apologize for that. Uh, and now let's return, hopefully uninterrupted, to the game. So there we go. All right, so we are supposed to deliver Mistress Therena her new clothes. T tell me about Mistress Therena. She is my patron in House Telvani, and I'm her mouth. She can be difficult at times. Be very careful if you must speak with her. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to her. So, I think uh, Telbranora is one of the better places to buy soul gems. I might be misremembering that, but we'll find out. Alright. Let's go. What do you want? So, this is not Chelpanora, this is a shitty dock. Chelpanora is over yonder. There, there it is. It's pretty dark, but you can probably see it. Um, Alright, so let's see. If I was to look for someone who sold soul gems, where would I look? Do you sell soul gems? No, you don't. How about you? Nope. No. 
I might be misremembering. Let's just go and have a talk with her. <laughs> Hello, talk smacky. Well, it's it's a well-deserved... Uh, yeah, so you cracked up when you saw the, the name above my head. It is really well-deserved. Uh, I am I am suffering uh, in, to a very extreme degree from what I have been told is called stream blindness. Which basically means that stuff I would have noticed at any moment playing this game just by myself. Now, of course, like with having a viewing audience, goes straight over my head. So, <laughs> I've, I've earned this over the course of the, what, like, uh, 24 hours or so we've been playing? Alright, so let's go and see if we can talk to... Actually, let's see if this trader has the soul gems we were talking about. Hello. Do you have soul gems? You do! You have greater soul gems, in fact, and common soul gems. Give me all your soul gems. Do you have more? You have common. Okay, cool. You have three common now, even though I bought all of them. That's cool. So they, these are restocking. She restocks three common soul gems, but apparently not the greater ones. That's fine. Alright, let's see. Let's go and talk to uh, Mistress Therena. Wait, that's a trade house. What am I doing? Um, how do we get access to... Oh, it's right here. Okay. No, not the lower tower. She's definitely not there. The hell? Go away. Ow. Screw off. There you go. Oh, and then it fucking clips through the floor. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright, upper tower. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Cool. So... Oh god, I, I remember her. Oh yes, this lady is... It's true, she's an eccentric. So, uh... <laughs> okay, well, let's follow the trail of Kwama X then, I suppose. No, it just leads outside. Well, then we'll go up here. I kind of wonder when when the Talvani raise their shroom towers, when they create them out of magical mushrooms and infuse them with magic. Do these like ornamentations and like this beautiful uh, work that's like put into the side of of the building? Do do those happen by magic, or do they have people carve them out for them? Matisse and Davil. Affairs of Wizards. Decent books, but nothing of interest. Alright, there we go. And as always, of course, we can't get access if we can't fly. Luckily. Uh, no, you're not her. You're not her either. Ah, there she is. Oh! <laughs> oh! Um, um, am I interrupting something here? There is a seems to be a naked Kashid in your room. Please go ahead, Outlander. Does, does this violate some kind of stream policy? Am I uh Oh god, no! Ah, oh that ankle. Um I hope I hope I'm not like I hope Twitch doesn't mind naked cat people. Um Okay, hello, Mr. Storena. Uh, oh, are those the new clothes? I have waited ever so patiently for them. Oh, is that my new skirt? How do you know it's not cursed? Why don't you put it on? Sure. What could go wrong? We just strip my robe off here? Not demeaning at all. Ah, Therena's skirt. Now you die. You're wearing my skirt! How dare you wear my skirt! Yep. Okay, um... I'm not wearing your skirt? I'm not? Okay, 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 we're out. Peace. Um, let's just go. Ow. What was that? Scroll of Black Weakness hit our strength for 11 points. Ring of Fire Fist for 8 points. And Ring of Fire Fist damage health and fire damage. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, well, I hope we're okay. Let's see. This is uh, the Scroll of Black Weakness. 
this it's just damage hopefully it'll pass yeah there we go we're fine I hope come on oh shit no we're not we're not fine oh dear So, uh, we might be in the same trouble we initially were when we fought that uh, that Bone Lord, or that Greater Bone Walker, sorry. Let's wait some time. Nope, yeah, we're just permanently having our strength drained, and this is the one time we did not bring the potions of Restore Strength that we initially bought for this exact reason. Okay, well, let's load. We can't actually do anything from now. We would just stand here and suffer until we died. Um, <clears throat> hello, I have brought you new clothes. Yes, I will wear your skirts. Now you die. And we peace out. Bye. <laughs> oh, God, that lady. Okay, well, so far so good. We did the thing. We put on the new clothes we were supposed to deliver to her. She got very angry about that. Uh, let's take it off and... Let's go back and report our success, I guess, to the council. Hello, Felisa. Your master is insane. Sorry, your mistress. I trust you did not have any trouble. Well, in any case, I owe you 500 drakes for the delivery. I still have it, you know. Perhaps I could also teach you how to mark and recall. If you don't know already, I, I do know that, so don't teach me. Your choice. I mean, don't you see me apparating here? Would you suppose I am not able to mark and re whatever? I don't even follow your reasoning. I don't I don't want I don't want to peek into the into whatever logic works in your head when you work for that person. Um, tell me about your your chores. She's concerned about a slave rebellion in one of her holdings. Yes, the slave have revolted in Abidal Eggmine. Uh, go there and put an end to this rebellion before it's spread to Mistress, Mistress Therena's other holdings. Okay, tell me about this Eggmine. First go to Chelpranora, oh god, again, and then head north up the small peninsula across the next island to the northwest. The mine is on the northern corner of the island. All right, well, off we go. We're off to see the wizard, the crazy old ladies of... Tell Banora. Well, actually, we're not. We're supposed to. We're off to see her egg mine. I guess she. I mean, based on what we saw so far, she she does take her eggs very seriously, based on just like her interior decorations. Um, so okay. The directions were. First, go to Tell Banora. Check. Head north up the small peninsula. So north. Cross to the next island to the northwest. And then the northern corner of the island. Okay. So, cool. Okay, let's go. Let's go. North is this away. And northwest, so, okay, that way. And then we're looking for an egg mine on the northern corner of that island. Let's not bother swimming there. This is Cliff Racer Central, of course it is. <sighs> okay. Step right up! Everyone who wants a spear up their ass can freely come. First come, first serve. You, sir! Would you prefer a spear up your anus or. No, okay, there you go. Come one, come all! God damn it! I mean, is, is this like, what, what do they call them, like, self-fulfilled prophecies? Is that what this is? Again, who? WHO DARES?! Oh, I'm out crap. Okay. Hello. Northern corner of this island, eh? Alright. Why is everything 
Okay, there we go. Am I over encumbered? For what reason am I over? Oh, because of rat meat. Well, I suppose we are carrying a bunch of garbage, so that makes all kinds of sense, actually. Let's drop some of this nonsense. Really? Okay, we'll drop the rat meat. Where's the rat meat? Out you go. Hmm, it's not here. Keep an eyes open for an egg mine, guys. See if we can find one. Supposing, of course, that we are on the right island. Uh, we're not on an island at all. That would explain why we can't find it. <laughs> Go away! I'm having trouble navigating. I don't need help, backseat driver. Uh, let's see, so northwest would be this way. Alright. I just need to step away for a moment. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Alright. So. Island. Egg mine. Stuff. Let's go. It's probably this island here. North up the small peninsula. Cross to the next island. Go to the northwest. Northern corner. Tilbranora. North, North island. Northwest. Either this island or this island here. We'll find out. Ah, this is this might be it. It's not an egg mine, is it? No, that's an ancestral tomb. Okay. Right, this might be the right one then. So on the northern corner of this island. Just get rid of all these busy customers. And... We'll be out of here. Ow. All right. Can we find an egg mine here? Ah, oh, yep, there we go. Success. Egg mine gets. God damn it. One at a time, please! The hell? Uh, I mean, it's, it's not as bad as that one time where we had, like, 20 of them chasing us through the landscape, but, you know. Alright, let's actually... Will you guard us if we try to sleep, my good friend, 
Cuomo worker. We don't really need any... Actually, we don't need mana uh, for this venture, I feel like. We have our, our cephalopod helm. Everything will be fine. Go away, insects. We need to mind our encumbrance too, of course. Hello! What are you doing here? Would you let me go free? Tell me about the slave rebellion. Talk to our leader, Eladal Lay. Okay. So, is there an actual slave rebellion here? I, I have to admit, I'm expecting there to not be one. I'm expecting them to just, like, be working and doing everything they should be doing and her just being paranoid and weird and old. Jedato. You should find me. Danru. Eladal Lay. Okay. Hello. Tell me about your rebellion. Oh, okay. Well, I guess she was right about something. So, yes, we are rebelling. If the Reina sends you, go ahead and kill us. Uh, go back to work. Okay. <laughs> I would rather die than be a slave again. Well, I can accommodate that. Uh, let's pop a healing potion, just in case. And do we have anything else we can use here? Also pop the ri Ring of Regeneration. And I feel like we'll just wait them out. I don't feel like they can damage us enough that we can't out-heal them. I know, I know, we should just be killing them, but there is something, like, supremely empowering about this. Be like, what are you gonna do? Nothing is what you're gonna do. You can't hurt me. They can't deal enough damage with their, uh, fucking, uh, chitin, whatever, like, their clubs, uh, to punch through the armor accorded me by, uh, this, uh, cephalopod helmet enchantment. And meanwhile... <laughs> All right, slave rebellion, Psst, done. Anything interesting here? Good job. What was that weapon he had? I thought that was a uh, Daedric halberd. No, not a Daedric, a uh, uh, Dremel halberd. Let's see if there are any more loose ends to be tied up in here. Go away. God, that is... Oh, that sucks. That moment when you rebel against your wizard overlords and the key to unlock your slave braces was in an unlocked chest inside the mine where you work uh, all the time. Well, serves them right, I suppose. I mean, if you can't commit to the cause enough to actually look for the key. Uh... That was Danru. Where is... There is uh, their leader. Well, I suppose. We haven't had a... We haven't gotten an update uh, from the quest log, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're not done. So let's just go back and report our successful endeavor. Just check one last time on the way out that everyone is dead or dying. Oh yeah, we did walk past someone, didn't we? No, they caught up. Okay, well, in that case, let's go back.
Yeah, rebellion has been put down. The rebellious slaves are dead. Very good. Mr. Serena asked me to give you these if you killed the slaves. Yes, look at that. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Ring of Firestorm. Mm. Ring of Toxic Cloud. Yes. Okay. So now we have... On our left hand, we have an intercontinental ballistic missile. On our right hand, we have a biological weapon. Now we're rocking. I don't think we're ever gonna have to use a melee weapon again, but I, I could be... I could be... Uh, Getting ahead of myself. So, Firestorm, Toxic Cloud, there we go. Please go ahead, I'm listening. Now we will go and chill somewhere. Let's find an inn we can stay in. The hole in the wall is a good place, I think. And then... We will either become a... Uh, we will either become a mouth, um, or we will go to the, go to the east. Have bets? Yeah, you do. One bet available. Thank you. I will take it. Okay, so let's weigh the pros and cons here. Um, keep doing work for the Telvani means even more cool magic items. We already have some, but we could get more. Also, doing work for the Telvani is just cool overall and will increase our faction status. Uh, going to the east means new stuff that I've never seen before. I guess we could... Let's become a mouth and uh, apprentice to Master Aaron, uh, Arian. And then, once, we, once we've done that... I mean, we'll, we'll probably not like go through all of the Telvani quests, but... Let's let's uh, work a bit for Master Arian, and then we'll go east. So let's just make sure that all the chores are done. Do you have more chores? Nope. No more chores from you. No more chores from you. Or from you. Or from you. Okay, cool. So, I would like to become a mouth. Tell me about that. Uh, tell me about advancement. I cannot advance you. You must find a patron. My patron, Master Arian, is quite open-minded. You might ask him. If Arian becomes your patron, I can stop being Arian's mouth here in the council. Perhaps I can get some research of my own done. What about you? Can you... Master Niloth is not taking on protégés. Not taking on protégés. Uh, can't even ask you about that. Mr. Serena is an unwise choice for a patron. <laughs> I mean, at least she knows it. Okay, so let's talk about Master Arian then. Um, he's my patron. He lives in the Telvani city of Telvos. Okay, well, can we talk about... Okay, I should just go and talk to him then. Fine, I'll do that. Let's go to Telvos and talk to uh, Arian. See if he will take us on as a mouth. Uh, we have to go to Telmora. And then Voss is just across the water, right? What do you want? Yeah, Voss is just over there. So, if you remember from last time, uh, Arian's tower is the one that is a partial, like, uh, Imperial Castle and uh, partial Telvani Shroom Tower. So, here we are, and we'll just fly directly up to the main entrance because we don't really want to bother looking around for another way in.
I don't really want to talk to you right now. I need to talk to your master. Right, right. He's uh, he's fascinated with the Imperials. That's why, yeah, like fucking the the dragon banner and so on. Like that's also why he has this fucking Imperial castle thing going on. What's on the table? This paper is filled with cryptic notes taken by Master Arian while reading Gnagasta Kvata Kvakis. All right. Well, yeah. Hello. I would like to uh, join up and become a mouth. Can I become a mouth? Each mouth represents his or her patron, who is one of the older and more respected members of the council. The mouth receives messages, uh, messengers from their patrons and casts their patrons' votes on the council. Sure, but could you advance me, perhaps? Is that a thing we could talk about? Well, yes, I am willing to become your patron, uh, but first you must convince Baladas Dremnevani to join the council. Yes, speak with Baladas. Uh, Baladas de Navani and convince him to join the council. With his support, we can wrest control from the old, cautious, and unimaginative, like Gothrin and Neloth. Once you've convinced him, speak with me again, and I will sponsor you in House Tilvani. Sweet. All right, tell me about this guy. And Baladas de Navani uh, lives in Arvstrelen, just northwest of Nisis. Speak with him and convince him to join the council. Cool. So that was the uh, the guy we went to to. Um, to speak the three creepy questions on behalf of Master Gothrin. You need to get out of my way, please. There we go. So that's easy. We've actually met this guy before. So let's go and convince him to join the council. Uh, let's just uh, recall to... Um, we'll recall to the council and then we'll uh, go to the Mages Guild and we will... Uh, We'll find. Actually, probably we could have probably done this quicker by just taking a boat from Voss. Oh well, silly. Now we will go to the Mages Guild. We will port to Aldrun, and from Aldrun, we will uh, from Aldrun we will go to. We'll take a self to Nisis. Hey Rast, what's up? Welcome to Morrowind. I mean, newer, prettier Morrowind, but still Morrowind. I should I say I find you welcome. welcome. Care to talk? Please go ahead. <laughs> oh my! I am being watched. Well, to what do I owe this pleasure? you're in my way, dude. Come on, get out of my way. Ugh. Oh god, I hate you so much. Why must you stand in the doorway? Go away, I don't have time. Go ahead. I'm listening. Alright, so let's go to Nisi's and convince this Baladas dude to join the Tilvani Council. That will mean we can get sponsored and we can rise in rank. Make a special choice, don't you? Also... Because now we're outside and everything. Just let's let's just take a moment to appreciate this. Let's see where is the ring of firestorm. There it is. All right. Let's try using it. Can we use it? Hmm. It seems to be used, but I'm not seeing any. Uh... Ah. We may uh, experience some slight glitchiness right now. All right, well, this guy's upstairs, right? Yeah, yeah, this is right. It was the guy who had the friendly Daedroth just walking around his summoning chamber. Don't know why that thing doesn't aggro me, but whatever. Hello, dude. Um, remember me? I, I came here asking you some insanely weird question out of the blue, and you spouted lore in my face for half an hour since I... All right. Well, uh, let's let's have you join the council, please. Uh, I have little interest in the affairs of House Silvani, but it would not be in, but it would not be an inconvenience to me. I will agree to join the council on the condition that you do three chores for me. Oh God, what? I have three simple chores for me from you. Bring me a copy of the Dwemer books. Uh, Net what? Netronach's Fire and Faith. 
Antecedents of Dreamer, Dreamer Law, and The Chronicles of Naturalift. I think we've sold these books, uh, so we can probably find them again. Uh, I know the Hall of Wisdom in Vivek has a copy as a copy of this book, but their library is well guarded. Rare booksellers may have a copy. There are certainly a few copies in the hands of private collectors, such as myself. Well, not yourself, hopefully. Okay, Fire and Faith. Um, have I a copy of Antecedents of Dreamer Lord? No, not yet. If I knew where to find one, I would do it myself. Shut up. And Natural Left. Okay, no. I know it may be difficult to find this book. Uh, you could try the Dwemer Ruins of Natural Left itself, which is supposedly supposed to be somewhere between Voss and the Ghost Fence. Right, so we've actually been to Natural Left, so we could go there. Exactly, yeah. Bring me 20 bear asses. Also, in, in this case... Um, in this case, it kind of like ties into the fiction of his character because we've been uh, doing Dwemer studies and relied on that specific NPC for that in the past. So it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, oh God, I mean, I know you want me to do this for you, but come on, dude, I'm, I might kill you if you don't agree to this, okay? Let's sell some of all this junk. Um... Oh God, this is all. These are all chemical ingredients. I want to keep these. Okay, we'll go back home and we'll keep those. I will sell these Dwemer coins, though. Not all of them, apparently. You can't afford them. Um, anything else? Any other junk? We get rid of this journeyman's armorous hammer. Um, we'll keep the Wolf Queen and Luna Lorcan. Oh, we have a copy of Chronicles of Natural Left on us. Well, good for us. So now we just need to go and get the others. I mean, we'll guess we'll keep these. So we'll go back and we'll drop this off back at home. We'll get go get the other two books, and then we'll be golden. Why walk when you can ride? Uh, let's go to Aldrune, and we'll go to Balmora. Like to go? Hello, scary face. Well, Balmora looks shitty and unwelcoming today. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of stuff we need to think of, think of what to do with. Uh, we'll drop the jink blade here for now. Because it's a jink blade and it's expensive and cool. Um, Silver Staff of War? Nah, this is a seller. Um, yeah, we'll drop the alchemical ingredients and... In the future we'll make some more potions when we start needing them. Alright, and now let's look through our tower of book. Yeah, I can fly. Um, it's just... Uh... Whoop! Whee! Yeah, I can fly. I've been able to fly since a couple of hours in, actually. Uh, we got the Boots of Blinding Speed early on, and then it was just a simple matter of making a low-level levitation enchantment. Um... All right, so do we have the book in question on somewhere in this tower of stuff we need to read? Uh, actually, our Dwemer books are over here, right? The Secrets of Dwemer Amunculi. That's probably where we got the Summon Amunculi from. And yeah, there we go. And Tedison's of Dwemer Law. Well, we needed one of those, so let's give it to him. And Divine Metaphysics and Hanging Gardens are not for him. Those are our books. We'll keep those for now. What was the last one? Faith and Fire? Uh, we need to either go to a rare cellar or we need to go to the library in the temple. I mean, there's a rare bookseller in Vivek, so we could go there and we can talk to, what's it called, Jobasha? Um...
Yeah, yeah, it's Jabasha. We'll we'll go and talk to him. Um, and if he he can't uh, procure the book for us, then we'll uh, we'll break into the temple and steal it. What you like? <laughs> you like the the, the magic he sound of? Then it was just a matter of making a simple levitation spell. Yeah. So this this game does magic way better as uh, than the other Elder Scrolls games, in my opinion. Um, as an extension of the inherent complexity of the mechanics. Some people have made the comment that uh, Oblivion and Skyrim are dumbing down the Elder Scrolls. I don't know that that's like the best way of putting it. It's not necessarily that it's been dumbed down, but it has become less complex. Um, due to the complexities of the the many systems that are that like fit together as a cogwheel, um, like as cogwheels in a large clockwork in this game, uh, the way the mechanics play together, uh, the ways, um, the way the entire thing is constructed. You can do a lot more with spells in this game than you can in the other games, uh, including levitation, teleportation, um, and like just a, a bunch of spells that meaningfully affect uh, enemies in other ways than what you could do in the newer games because of the way the mechanics uh, have changed. So yeah, there is a the, the the game that has the most options on the table is definitely uh, Morrowind. So things like making a simple levitation charm is actually a total val totally valid way of putting it, because you look at the um, look at the lesser levitation spell here. This says one point of levitation for a minute. In in game terms, that means that this levitation spell is stupidly bad. Um, it's just one point of levitation, which would mean that we would. Just be super slow when we flew through the air. Um, like it would one point of levitation would mean that we just snailed our way through the sky um, for a minute. I'll like albeit for a minute. Now, the reason we fly so fast is because we have two hundred and fifty speed, which is accorded us by having this uh, this artifact called the Boots of Blinding Speed. Uh, Boots of Blinding Speed fortify is a special artifact. It's the one that gives the highest stat boost in the game. It fortifies our speed by 200 points, but it also makes us 100% blind. But, again, because, as I said, complexity and magic and stuff, like, it's open that way. So because of this, we, we uh, went and we created a spell uh, called... Where did we put it? Uh, I think we called it Hexbreaker. Yeah, uh, there it is. Tyrell's Hexbreaker. So uh, this spell gives us the uh, gives us a hundred percent resist uh, resistance to magicka on ourselves. So when we cast this, we become completely immune to magicka, but only lasts for a second. That's the only way we could cast it. Otherwise, we would it would cost a million magicka and would require us to have way more uh, capacity for restoration than we do. So we cast this. It lasts for just one second, but that's enough for us to open our inventory, put the boots on. And because we put the boots on, when we do that, the, the spell effects on them get applied to us. Um, we are 100% resistance to the blind effects. So the blind effect doesn't take root and we can just wear them without being blind. And then once the Hexbreaker effect stops, uh, we just uh, enjoy the benefits of the Fortify speed 200 points. So that's why we can fly and move so incredibly fast. Super fast blind guy. Yeah, if you if you go back, uh, let's. We were supposed to talk to Jabasha actually, so let's fly fly and talk to him. So uh, if you go back and like watch me find the boots of blinding speed, we run around blind for a moment, just trying to find our way back using the mini map, um, while we're like moving incredibly fast. Right, so Jabasha is in the waste work of the foreign quarter. So let's go in there. There we go. Sup, Jobasha, do you have a copy of Faith and Fire? You have a Dance and Fire. Actually, you have a bunch of chapters of a Dance and Fire. A less rude song. <laughs> I want to read that. And Tedison's of Dreamer Law. Cool. Hmm. 
Faith and Fire. No? No Faith and Fire. Who was the author? What was that called? What was the name of the book? Uh, the name of the book was... Uh, Netronox Faith and Fire. Okay, let's see if you have Netronox Faith and Fire. Negasta Quadraquatis? No, you do not. Okay. So, let's go and steal it from the temple. This is gonna be totally easy and not at all stressful. Alright, just to make sure it wasn't the high fane, right? Come on. There we go. Alright, so there is one in the Hall of Wisdom in Vivek. Um, but their library is well guarded. Rare booksellers may have a copy. Okay, let's go to the Hall of Wisdom. The Hall of Wisdom is not the asteroid, right? That was the Hall of Justice, or something like that. Let's just make sure it's not in the asteroid, because if it's in the asteroid, I we're gonna die from stress. So let's not. I say asteroid, it's supposedly a moon. No, it's the Ministry of Truth. Okay, cool. So the Hall of Wisdom is one of these, uh, one of these. Hall of Justice, then this is probably the Hall of Wisdom. Yeah, yeah? Hall of Wisdom. All right. Actually, could you... Hello, Nalosi Alari. Can we talk about your books, maybe? Do you have books in here? I realize you don't like me. I'm Okay, so he actually has a decently high uh, disposition towards me. But I do work for the temple, I guess, so that helps. Um, but yeah, he's an ordinator, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, not particularly friendly fellow. Mm, nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Hall Underworks. Mm. Alright, Library of Vivek. I need to find Faith and Fire. Do you... Okay. What about you? Our collection. Volumes of great interest can be found in our main reading room. Our collections are found in the rooms adjoining the main reading room. Our special collections include Western studies, the Empire and all the provinces, history, arts and crafts, law of customs, geography and geography. Our reserve rooms contain works on heathen cults. These volumes are not for sale, of course, and may not leave these rooms. Okay, so I guess that's probably what we're looking for then. Um, Please join me. Invocations of Ashura, Annotated Anuad. Well, let's just look for books. So, this isn't it. Mixed unit tactics. The true noble's code. All right, that's the uh, Red Around book. Well, we don't bother with that because we are Telavani. Another lesson of Vivek, nice. Is this a long one? No, it is not, it's a short one. Let's read it. The 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 27, the scripture of the word, first, all language is based on meat, do not let the sophist fool you, second, the third walking path explores hysteria without fear, the efforts of madmen are a society of itself, but only if they are written, the wise may substitute one law for another, even into incoherence, and still say he is working within a method, this is true of speech, and extends to all scripture, third, do not go to the realm of apology for absolution. Beyond articulation, there is no fault. The adjacent place, where the, where the grabbers live, is the illusion of the vocal or the, or the middle realms of thought, by which I mean the constructed. This is how I stole certainty of the Chancellor of exactitude, perfect to look upon from every angle. When you come out of the vocal, you can never be certain. Fourth, the truest body of work is made up of silence. As in the silence that results from no reference. By the word, I mean the dead. Fifth, the meaning is always hidden. Sixth, the realm of apology is perfection and impossible to attack. Thus the wise avoid it. Trinity is unity. 
is the world, uh, Trinity in unity is the world and word of action, the third walking path, seventh, the sage who suppresses his best aphorisms cuts off his hands, for he is a thief, eight, the clothes of the broken map are worn only by fools and heretics, the map is an exit for laziness, it is the dusty tongue, which is to say the given chart that most take the story that is complete, no word is true until it is eaten. The ending of the words is Amsivi. Cool. So, yeah, another sermon of Vivek. Even more hilarious nonsense. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Vivek and Mephala, the Book of Daedra. Ooh, Arcana Restored. Hmm, 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 hmm. No, doesn't seem like it's here. I mean, we'll go look in the other, at the other bookshelves, but I think it's in their heathen library. The Cantatas of Vivek. House of Troubles. The House of Troubles is the... Um, we found that out, right? That is the, uh, uh, the the local term for, like, the bad the bad Daedra, the four, uh, the, the four Daedra who, uh, who the Dunma do not worship as a given. Eastern Provinces, The Firmament, Cantatas of Vivek, Children of the Sky. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nope. Okay, yep. So we're done looking here. Let's go and look in the, whatever, wherever they're uh, uh, more. What, what, did you, what did you call them actually? What was the word you used? Uh, the reserve room. Okay, let's find your reserve room. Okay, so I suppose then this door leads into the same room. Okay, so where does this door lead? The cannon quarter, the cannon office, Milo's quarters. Let's check the cannon quarters. Yes, Outlander. What may I do for you? Hello, I'm looking for Fire and Faith. The Hall of Wisdom here in Vivek holds many rare books such as this. Okay, cool. But none here with you. Okay. Fire and Faith? Same. Okay. Too busy for a good talk. We need to find the entrance to uh, their reserve. So they all basically just say the same. And this leads out to the temple. Yeah, all right. So far, so good. This leads back up to the cannon office, as does this. This is the underworks. It may be that the reserve can be accessed through there. This was the library. So this in here is the Hall of Justice, okay. Library, so that's where we came from. That is the middle door of the library. Crazy. This is becoming a bit labyrinthian to me, but we'll find it eventually. And that's the High Fane, okay. So these supposedly lead out to... Yeah, this is the same. Okay, so... Where then does... Are there any doors here? There are not. I need someone to talk to me about the reserves. Please tell me about the reserves. Nothing? Okay. Oh god, this guy knows literally everything. Holy. Okay. He knows everything except where I can find the reserves. Okay. Well, fuck you. Nope. 
All right, so the access to the reserves is probably hidden in that case. Um, it might be that it's in the Hall of Justice. Let's go there and have a look. I mean, so he did say in the Hall of Wisdom. Hmm. That was the high vein. That was the library. Go back into the cannon quarters for a moment, see if we can find anything in here. Yes, if I remember correctly, there were... We also have to check the underworks, of course. So, Join me. let's actually do that. So, because of the way uh, Vivek is constructed, like, in, in layers like, uh, like that, like this, um... There is sometimes uh, things that can be found by looking where the uh, lo looking at carpets, because sometimes carpets hide trapdoors. So okay, this is actually just the underworks. It's not. It's the ca literally the canal. It's probably not down here. But whatever. Let's have a look. See if we can find like a bookshelf perched somewhere down here. It's not here. I know it's not. But hmm. Someone left an iron broadsword, some empty bottles, some gold. Who lives down here? I mean, under the other quarters, I understand, but who lives under the Hall of Wisdom? No, now we're in the Hall of Justice. Hooray! The Justice Officers. I am never so busy. I can restored. Faith and fire. Anywhere? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Sup? I am never too busy for a good talk. Can you tell me about faith and fire, please? No, you'll just tell me the Hall of Wisdom probably holds it. He is surprisingly high disposition towards me. Yeah, I know, the, the guy living under the, the Hall of the Wisest, the wisest of all sewer rats. What do you want of me, Outlander? Please join me. Biography of Baron Sire. Varieties of Faith? Hmm. Wow. Wow. What? 44 pages of faith stuff. Let's not. Uh... Aha! Justice officers level seventy-five. Um Do you think maybe you could look over here? Hey, hey, pretty lady. Hi. Hey, hey. Sir? Sir? Pardon me? Could we talk over here? Please? No? Okay. Alright, so what do we need to we need to get past these guys? Um let's see if we can get at that lock. Well, so they might not care if we pick the lock. These are both ordinators, so in all likelihood they are going to hate the fuck out of us if we try to open this. But let's let's try it.